us to do the shit quietly, I mean She say I'm obsessed with thick women and I agree Yeah, that's right, I like my girls BBW Yeah, type don't wanna suck you dry and then eat some lunch with you Yeah, so thick that everybody else in the room is so uncomfortable Welcome you guys, welcome to today's video. So today we're just going to talk about how to make friends in college. Yes, I don't know how we give y'all this advice because I ain't got no friends, y'all. <laughs> what? I have people that like me a lot. I don't know if I would consider some of them friends, though. I can't just go up to them and act, like ask them for something, but they'd be like, oh my god, I love you so much. And I'm just like, thank you. I really like that. That really touches my heart. <laughs> anyway, let's get straight into the video. First piece of advice I can give you is to just join a group. So look on Facebook before you even go to school and type in, for instance, if you want to go to UCLA, just type in UCLA 22-23-90. You can message people. You can add people, you know, because those are the people that you're going to be getting to know for the next four years. If there's not a group, you can just look on different social media sites with the same thing, UCLA 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 19, whenever you graduate. I know 19 is like over with now, but say you're transfer, I guess, I don't know. Um, you can look that up, and then once you look it up, you can um, add individual people and be like, hey, we go to the same school, do you think it's okay if we get to know each other? I don't want to go to school and not know anybody. Um... And people are genuinely, like, generally nice if they're new to, because they don't know nobody either. <laughs> Everybody trying to make friends, so, you know, as long as you don't come off the wrong way, they should be nice. Now, the older people, kind of like the older people in high school, they, they kind of, sometimes they don't like you. Sometimes they try to treat you like you don't know nothing. So, if you become friends with an older person, that's good, you know. Number two, don't limit yourself. Don't go into college thinking, yeah, I'm a cheerleader, so I'm going to be friends with all the cheerleaders, and we're not going to mess with those lames, and, you know, oh, I'm going to be the mean girl like I was in high school, because that's not going to work, okay? You're going to go in there, and they're going to eat you up and chew you out and spit you over the sidewalk or onto the football field. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Now don't get me wrong, it's still going to be some people that's mean there, but you don't want to just go in there and do that. You should want to get to know anybody, because to be honest, those same people that you're trying to be friends with, it's a good chance that you're not going to want to stay friends with them. So you should just try to get to know anybody, give everybody an equal chance, you know, for no matter their race, their social status, their size, their extracurricular activities, whether it's smoking, drinking, not drinking, not going Number out. Number three would be to be social. Now, this is the biggest mistake I've I made my first semester. Like, I stayed in my room most of the time, and so at first I didn't get to know nobody. I think besides all the stuff that they had me doing at school, I was only going to the BSU meeting, and yeah, I wasn't going to nothing. So it wasn't fun, you know? You don't really get to enjoy college. So you be ready to go home, especially if you don't have no friends. So you need to get out. Like, if I get out, I mean, you can go to ice cream socials. You can go to football games. You can go to anything that they have, really. And I'm sure that, okay, by yourself for a minute, it's going to be awkward. But eventually, somebody's going to see you, and you're going to talk to them. Or, you know, people going to notice you because why? You're doing stuff. You're going to class. You're doing stuff. And basically, that's just a good way. Then you're going to see people in the crowd. They're going to be drinking or... You're going to be sitting there with a lot of crowd, spirit, school spirit. And you're just going to be like, oh, I want to hang out with them. They'll be like, hey, can I hang out with you? They might be like, yeah. I doubt they'll say no. But if they do, then, <laughs> you know. And yeah. You can be friends like that. It's just a good way to make yourself more well-rounded. Keep yourself busy so you won't get bored. And so that you can make friends. Number four. So I think that this one is probably one that you wouldn't expect, but it actually really helps. Like, number four would be to go to class. Go to class. Literally, you make so many friends in class. Like, yeah, you're there to learn, but 
you have to do group work and with group work you have to work together so eventually you get to know the people that you're working with especially because you're in that class for a whole semester so you'll probably work with those people again whether you're assigned or whether you choose to work with them again because those are the only people you know but yeah you can do that what else can you do I don't know, you just sit in class before while you wait on the professor. The professor, people ask people for like pens and pencils. You sit next to people. So eventually you'll talk to somebody. And somebody will talk back to you and eventually it'll work out. Or you can find somebody that you don't really click with, you know. Number five would be to leave your room. So when I say leave your room, I don't mean just be social. Like, yeah, this would kind of help. But, you know, when I say leave your room, I mean instead of just cooking noodles in your microwave if your dorm hall has a kitchen go cook your noodles in the kitchen if somebody in the kitchen you'll run into them you'll toss them instead of eating your noodles in the room go sit in the common area go sit on the front steps and do homework or something eventually people gonna come out and then when people see you out a lot of times they come out too like now not right away but eventually somebody just be like oh somebody's sitting on the porch I didn't know we could just sit here let me go grab our stuff it's a nice day you know literally you do all types of stuff uh, number six would be to join extracurricular activities like no matter if it's chess cheerleading football video game club um, dance you're gonna make friends in those clubs. Why? Because those are the people that you're constantly around. And the more you're around, the more you'll eventually grow to like them or hate them, but most likely you're gonna like them. <laughs> Number seven, and this is the most important tip. The most important tip. Number seven would be just to be yourself. Like, don't go in there. Like, yeah, okay, essentially it's a clean slate because nobody knows you. But don't go in there and try to be something that you're not because because uh, because those people have to spend a lot of time with you, they're going to eventually start seeing through the little personality that you created. Like, And that's the worst thing you want to do is to be perceived as a phony or a fake. Basically, be yourself. Be yourself. That's the only thing you can do. Like, Be yourself is the best way to create more a lot of friends. A lot of people, even if people don't like what you're saying, People will definitely respect the fact that you're yourself and that you can stand up for yourself. So, yeah. Yeah. So, this was a quick video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, one more thing. So, the giveaway is going to be over in three days. So, if you haven't, make sure you share this video. Make sure you share the post on Instagram. Make sure you do all of the things and the rules, and then you can at me or anything. Just make sure you do that. Hurry up. Time is tick, tick, ticking. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Bye, you guys.